I'm gonna show you how to make a program that gains access into another computer and how to prevent it. And just a quick disclaimer that this video is for educational purposes only. This exploit is only meant for Metasploitable OS, which is an operating system meant to be penetration tested on. It's an operating system that's meant to be hacked. Therefore, I am not violating the YouTube TOS. Now that we're done with that, let's get into the video. In case you didn't know, an exploit is a software or a sequence of commands designed to take advantage of vulnerabilities in computers, They're usually caused by programming errors or design flaws in software. Today, we're going to be looking at the SVE 2011-2523 or the VSTPD backdoor. This exploit was discovered in 2011 and it exploits a file sharing service in Unix systems. If you want to follow along with the steps in this video, you need to install VirtualBox and Metasploitable. Links will be in the description. So by now, you should have your Metasploitable VM ready. And first, we need to give it its own IP address. So you want to head over to Settings, Network, and in this drop-down menu, switch it from NAT to Bridged Adapter. And I'll start the VM. Before we start coding the actual exploit, first, we're going to run through it manually using Command Prompt to give us a better idea of what to actually code. So once it's loaded for the Metasploitable login, it's just MSF admin for the username, MSF admin for the password, and you should be in. So we need its IP address, and you can get it by typing ifconfig, and it should be up there. So for me, it's 192.168.2.80. Anyway, so now we're going to go through the exploit manually. So open Command Prompt and type FTP followed by your VM's IP address. It should say connected and VS FTPD 2.3.4. This is the FTP version that is vulnerable. So you want this to show up in the banner. Now, as an example for the user, let's type like user password, let's type pass. Yeah, login failed. Now this time we're gonna exploit it. So we do the same thing, connect to it with FTP. And now when you see the username prompt, you can literally type anything. I'm just gonna keep user but end it with a smiley face. I'm not even joking. This is literally the exploit. Just end it with a smiley face, this shit. Now press enter and just type anything for the password. Now, instead of saying wrong login, it should just be blinking under the password prompt like this. What happened is that we exploited a function in the VSFTPD code, which now opened a remote shell running on the Metasploitable machine. Now we're gonna access that shell. So open another command prompt window. Now we're gonna connect to the shell. So for this next part, you wanna have netcat installed. I'll leave its link in the description and run netcat by typing nc, the IP address of our VM, and then 6200. Now, we just gained remote access into this VM. If this VM was on a separate computer beside me right now, we, we would still be able to do the same thing. Now let me prove this to you. Let's type some commands. So if we type who am I, it's gonna return root. And we can literally see the folders inside here. So and we can make it look prettier by pasting this command right here. So if I press enter, it says root at metasploitable commands. I have config. It's the exact same thing as the VM right now. And to exit it, you can just press control C. Now for the fun part, let's make this a script. So you want to open your text editor. I personally use Notepad++, but you can use whatever you want. So we're going to click language, B, and then batch. As always, we start with at echo off. Now we need to input the target IP address. We can do this by typing set dash P and then the variable name. So I'm just going to call it IP and then the prompt that you want right here. By the way, if you want to add some like fancy colors, banners, all that stuff, I made a video on how to do that. So check that out after this. Okay, so now we have the IP address and let's start running the commands. FTP followed by the IP address. If we run this command in batch, it's going to give us this whole prompt. And the point of a script is for us to do this for him. So there's a way to do this whole FTP thing without any user input. And that's by giving the FTP commands through a file. So open another file. And over here, all we need to type is the username and the password. By the way, let's save these files somewhere. I'm going to call this one FTP.txt. And this one's going to be main.bat. So now it's FTP-s equals ftp.txt and then the ip but since it's a variable we just do percentage marks and then ip okay now next we connect to it with netcat so that would be netcat ip and then 6200 for the port now a small problem with this code is that this ftp wouldn't let us run this if you forgot when the ftp command is ran the prompt is just blinking under the password prompt and it wouldn't execute the next command it would just be stuck there so we have to execute this separately and we can do this by doing start we're just going to open it in like a separate cm the window but that wouldn't be convenient because it's like in the way it's a separate window doesn't look good so just throw in a dash min which is going to minimize it oh yeah and i forgot you want to move netcat.exe over into the folder all right let's run it enter target ip address i got you okay the commands are executing after each other too fast so i'm gonna add a timeout dash t two seconds that should be good all right let's try it out we go okay let's try running something 
who am I? Root, LS, let's go. Isn't this crazy? We, we just made a script. All you do, you enter the IP address and it just gives you a shell and now you just have access. Okay, but this does look kind of ugly. So someone watching this, please make a good multi-tool out of this. Add like a banner, nice colors, give it, give it a good title, give it a good UI just make this look good you know all right i hope you kind of understood this because exploits are kind of a tough subject to understand at first they're a little complicated but um they're really cool and interesting so like sub join my discord server and i'll see you guys next time